Welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to create a Google group. The first thing you'll need to do is log in to your APU Gmail account, and on the application bar, you'll select Groups. This will open up a new window or a new tab. The first thing you'll see is the groups that you are currently a part of. Everyone will be part of APU News and either APU staff or APU faculty. Click the Create a Group button to start the process. You will first name the group. I'm going to call mine Training Test. It uses that name to create both your email address and the web address that you can use to share with people so that they can check out your group. You can change this name and I'm going to go ahead and change it and just call it Training Test with no dash. That will also update the web address. Descriptions are required and you want your description to be an example or a good example of what your group is about. So this is just, this is a test group and that's what people will see if I make it public. Then the next choice is creating your access level. Public means everyone can see it and anyone can join if it's part of the APU community. You can narrow it down and have it just be a group of people that you invite, but anyone in APU could post to it. You also have the option of having an announcement group where the manager or managers of the group can send out announcements to the members, but they can't reply or um, be a part of it, the discussion. Again, anyone can join from APU. Restricted is only managers can invite new members and only members can post or view the member list and as well as read the archives. I'm going to go ahead and make this one an announcement only and then hit create group. Google will then create your group with this and now it gives you the option of adding members, inviting people. You note here that it says your domain is closed. You cannot invite email addresses outside of your domain. So we, you couldn't invite someone that has an at Gmail account. You, um, it's best to generally to invite people rather than add them directly. Um, you give them the option of joining. So you would type in their email address, write an invitation. If you were doing a group where it was uh, your coworkers and you'd agreed to have a, a group um, email account like this, then it would be okay to go ahead and add the members directly, type them up a welcome message, and here by default you can set whether they receive no email and they just go to the, the website that is linked earlier, or each time an email is composed, everyone in the group receives it. They could also select to, you could select to have them receive a summary of the email a day. So any emails that would be sent out, they could just get one email at the end of the day with all of those emails, or um, one email with all activity. So they would just get that one email. I'm going to leave it the default, and I'm going to right now say skip this step. And then it takes you here where you could do a new post, and other things that you can do to manage your group. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact IMT Training at training at apu.edu.